Hello and welcome to our custom series. We have kind of a lot to discuss, but the first little part here, we're gonna talk about methodology. So we're gonna use some of these Next Gen Pro style blanks right here, and we're gonna turn them into poker chips. So that's the first thing we're gonna do, very much homemade. I wanna start at the beginning and then progress my way to more advanced methods. So we're probably gonna explore this, custom as in professionally made labels, and then ceramics and higher end chips like classic poker chips. So we'll explore all of those. But today we just want to talk about the methods. So I just threw together a really quick design. Actually, it wasn't that quick. It probably took me a couple of hours to throw this together longer than I wanted to, but I had fun doing it. So I don't mind. Uh, just a Patagonia theme gaucho. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, it means kind of like a, a rural livestock farmer. Uh, it, it loosely translates to cowboy, okay? So you can see very much a Chilean hat and horse right there, five cent, low denomination. So I'm gonna have to load the printer up with some photo paper and we're actually gonna use photo paper. So let's see how this works. And then I'm gonna use this awesome little one inch hole punch right here. Yeah, it's pink <laughs> to punch out the uh, labels here. So we're gonna use some Milanos and some of these next gen pros. Let's see how it works out. Okay, here we have it. Uh, it looks it looks very different printed than it does on screen. So this is a good exercise. You're, I'm learning a lot here. I purchased this at Michael's. Uh, this is a uh, one inch little punch right here. Right now, what's going through my mind is all those times I've criticized ceramics for not being perfectly centered and inlays not being perfectly centered. And here I am punching out little inlays. And now I'm worried about them being centered. Can you believe that? So at this point, I just took those little labels and I just used a little bit of super glue. It happened to be convenient and I slapped those in place. The video didn't really turn out very well. So that brings us to the review table right here. All right, now you're looking at actually two versions of that label I made. This is the first version on top and the second version down below. You can see I made, I changed the background a little bit so it's a little more rich and I made the text black here, this darker brown. The hat, the horse, and the denomination are all blown up. You, I realized that real quick, I'm like, oh, it looked great on the screen, but at this scale, I needed more. So I like the version two more. Let me know if you like version one more. And then here we have little, you know, Despicable Me little finger stories. What was the story? Finger, like finger cats? I don't remember. Things I think about, having children, it destroys me. Oh, by the way, rolling in here, this is my old microphone I used to use. I've switched microphones yet again. Let me know if the audio is terrible. I switched from a small diaphragm microphone to a large diaphragm microphone. So let me know how that goes. Now, I have a secret. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. Um, the These aren't good. This photographic paper isn't durable. You know what? I'm just going to show you in the next episode, episode three. If you want to find out what happens to these, you'll have to subscribe. I love this for prototyping because you, like, you can see, oh, my scale was wrong, the dimensions are wrong, and you can change it and see how it looks and reevaluate. I really like that about this as far as prototyping goes, but I wouldn't do this for any large number of chips. There you have it. If you're interested in making chips at home with photographic paper, uh, I would say you try it, you know, for prototyping, but I would not recommend it for chips that you're gonna put in play. It'd be better just to get something more robust. And there may be options out there where you can print on a more robust material or laminate these different methods we may or may not explore those. I'm thinking we're not going to just for economy. We're probably going to explore some professional options here. Please support us at Patreon. We can use your help. We're looking to get 10 Patreon supporters here by June. You can always subscribe here. That really helps us as well. And leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.